Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. Real marvel. Paramorphs. But heat leeches infest every settlement, every corner of the settled systems. That means that every single one. Oh no. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then, with time, they transform. We... we just found out how terramorphs move between planets. Pretty Major is right, but if what we just saw, if that's possible... The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the Terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other, in an instant. But that means, if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a Terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city, or even multiple leeches, into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. If you don't catch that thing, get after it! We may proceed. Go!
Let Kaiser take a look at that sample. on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. I wonder where they could have gotten such an idea, deploying alien life forms as weapons. I wouldn't be shocked to find out our team, in part, inspired the approach, but our group never dealt with something that could have an effect like this. Makes some sense, actually. Tau said he was likely their first test, someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. I have things I wish to discuss with you. Emergency recorder message detected. Trans 
extraction process engaged. Playback initiated. Admiral Sinop, we need to make the evacuation request. That's... that's my father he's addressing. of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. Condemned this whole city to death. He's a... He's...
sample with Kaiser and we're done.
Can we speak for a moment? Did you need something? You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery-class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of that. Pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Ah, best place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vay Victus knew about this damn plan? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. Sorry, what? She's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? I don't believe she is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Captain... I truly don't. He's already shown he's taken an interest in you. I'll be a lot more useful in the lab right now than I would be grilling Francois. So do you think you could do it? Please? Whatever you can turn up is more than we have now. We'll all meet back at Mast, outside the Cabinet Chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you. 
for dealing with him.
I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. to discuss with you. even more death. I wasn't going to allow another dangerous 
first variable to be added to an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadriot once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. to 
Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew... <sighs> why? Did he say why he did it? It takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. Somehow, after all that has transpired, he still believes himself to be the hero. He created this whole situation just so others would see him the way he sees himself. But all it has done is further expose him for what he really is. Well, once we inform the Cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. My hope would be that whatever connections he's got to the outside world disappear. Make sure his future schemes and machinations stay in his cell with him. But honestly, I'm not sure. He's in a unique position, and has done a special kind of harm to the colonies. Exactly. Bring justice to everyone he's hurt. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the Cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. And here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? My god. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais?
Well, ma'am, it seems your report is incorrect. Francois Sanon was responsible for the attacks. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now that's quite the accusation your group is leveling. Seeing as Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? I can think of numerous reasons why someone, after learning Vae Victus is still alive, might want to correct that. So I'm not going to accept such a stunning claim without proof. It just transformed a terror out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. It, it, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vavik to sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. I'm not sure I see why someone with UC blood on their hands would merit leniency. But I will note your request when the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. I'm glad you think so. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes. Don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the cabinet. 
We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've had a few discussions, but our group is similarly split. Only the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. Let us hope this science division truly knows what they are doing. Grand threats merit grand actions, and grand actions are precisely what our group does. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Then I expect you'll be quite pleased. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. If you are free soon, Seems you're quite the investigator turning up the culprit behind the attacks like you did. Shame Keep security it moving. Detective position open. Shocked doesn't begin to describe it. Parties responsible for this tragedy.
that we are here. Get to what happened to Barrett. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I do not know Barrett as well as some, but he seems quite confident in his abilities. And not without cause. Next thing I know, 
two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them, I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you.
done. Wanna try fixing that computer? Go ahead. I'm packing up, Dusty. What a mess. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more? Feel free to scavenge around.
So, you actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Things I wish to discuss with you when you have time. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello. What? You had it?
are free soon. Could we talk? I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, you missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I ah, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. No good deed goes unpunished, as they say. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these early whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. 
Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out. But, uh, I think I heard the word ransom. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. I have things I wish to discuss with you. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm a tough cookie. The painkillers are starting to work. I'll be just fine after a good nap. You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along.
I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? It does seem to be a unique situation with serious consequences. That is what keeps me here as well. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. This group of people, who by rights would never associate with one another, has come together for a common cause. That is impressive on its own, before considering the magnitude of the work they have undertaken. The possibilities it holds. A goal is something you work towards. An expectation of achievement. That is not the same. I believe it is sometimes phrased as the destination is not as important as the journey. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. You believe I am too quick to judge? Perhaps that is so. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I am not asking for pity. I have done what is necessary to bear my burdens. And it has led me here. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure. How existence without ties to others is challenging in space. They believed, and still do, that anyone who was not part of our family did not share our values, our goals, and was ultimately a potential threat. My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. 
Thank you. Can we speak for a moment? something. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in.
This assignment reminds me of New Homestead. Boring. Ah, uh, sure thing. I'll help out wherever. Welcome back.